could do. Let's go over to where the, where the Indy 23 is. <laughs> would you believe if I told you that? <laughs> Must be a certain length. Twice as long as half as that. Yeah. yeah. And we just tie it here with a particular Boy Scout knot. <laughs> now if uh, Edward comes with some molasses, thanks Edward. <laughs> there it is, this is molasses, you can buy it at the local uh, the local um, produce. produce agency here. Smell it. Molasses. Golden syrup. Yeah. yeah. It smells like golden syrup. Yeah. yeah, so we'll measure out carefully one tablespoon. It's cane, sugar cane, yeah. It's when they press the sugar cane. Yeah, they, they, um, they, they centrifuge it, you know, and this is what's at the bottom of the centrifuge. And lots of people argue that this is the best part. Um, yeah. So we just get that in the water, and what will happen now, because we've got all those microbes in our compost, you know, because that compost has got all sorts of stuff in it that was made out of, and that sugar, that bit of sugar that's in there now, will, and the, all the oxygen, of course, will give it two teaspoons. You know, if one's, if one's good, two will be better. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. So you make ginger beer, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, in, in 24 to 48 hours' time, we'll have very nutrient rich water here. Because those bacteria now will, their, their activity will explode. You know, they'll just multiply at a furious rate. And then, of course, what we do remember, we'll switch the air off. And we'll let it settle for, you know, two or three hours, however long it takes for it to settle out. If you want to look now, you can see all the material in there. See all the solid material, you can see it. And you, you can, if you just wait just a few minutes, you can see already the solid material is actually below the surface. It's actually already starting to settle out. Can you see the clear water on top? Yeah. It'll actually settle out very, very quickly. Mm. Yeah. And how often would you do that? Oh, once a week, we try and do it once a week. So we have lots of lots of nice aeration. And there you go, that's a compost tea maker. People who like to make worm tea, sometimes they get worm castings and do the same thing with it. And that's all you do to make worm tea. There's no great mystery about it. A lot of gardening gurus, so-called gardening gurus, try and turn it into a high-tech science, you know. And um, you can Google, go to Dr. Google and you'll find people selling their own particular, you know, compost tea maker. And it's got to be this size and this shape and it's a load of rubbish really. But there it is, there it is. So in a couple of days' time, we'll pull this out and we should take it back. See all that goodness coming out of there. Get a cup and drink it. <laughs> Yes. Uh, when Glenn Ma no, Martinez makes his, what he does is um, he just um, does this. He just gets his compost or his worm castings, he just tips it in, straight in like that. Which is what we'll do this time. But the reason I don't like doing that is because that means there's more rubbish I'm going to have to clean out of the bottom one day. So if I keep it in a bag, and now if you look, if I get a bit of that water, you'll see there's little sticks and stuff floating around now. Look, see bits of leaf and stuff? So that's all going to add to the rubbish I've got to get out one day. But it probably works better for truth be known. Because in the bag, maybe in the middle the water's not going to always still timber penetrate, etc. But now the all the material is gurgling around and mixing up, isn't it? And we're going to get vigorous activity.